Another type of question or problem you may, you may run into when you have uh, problems dealing with linear equations and two variables is this. They say, well, find the x and the y-intercepts. What does that really mean? Let's say we have an equation, linear equation, and we graph it. And the equation looks like this. Any line representing a linear equation that is not parallel to the x-axis or parallel to the y-axis, meaning straight up and down or horizontal, will at some point cross the x-axis and at some point cross the y-axis. Notice that whenever the line crosses the x-axis, that's where the y-value equals zero. Whenever the line crosses the y-axis, that's when the x-value equals zero. That gives us a hint. If we're going to find the x-intercept, we simply take the equation that we're given and set x equal to zero. If you want to find the, the x-intercept, we take the equation that we're given and we set y equal to zero. So let's show you some examples of that. How about x minus 2y equals 6? Now, we do not have to write in this format. We could, but we don't have to. Here we could simply say, all right, I'm going to find the x-intercept. which means I'm going to set the y equal to zero. Remember, wherever we cross the x-axis, the y value is zero at that point. So set y equal to zero, I get x minus two times zero equals six, or x equals six. There it is. There's the x-intercept. To find the y-intercept, I set x equal to zero. Because whenever we cross the y-axis, the x value of that equation has to equal zero. So here we take our equation. We're going to set x equal to zero. So zero minus 2y equals 6, or minus 2y equals 6. Divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficients on the y. So we get y equals 6 divided minus 2 is minus 3. So y equals minus 3 is the y-intercept, x equals 6 is the x-intercept. Okay, let's do a couple more of these to get the feel for it. Given the following equation, 3x plus y equals 7. And let's say we want to find the x-intercept. Remember, if you want to find the x-intercept, you set y equal to 0. So we have 3x plus 0 equals 7, or 3x equals 7. Divide both sides of the equation by 3, and you get x equals 7 thirds. There's your x-intercept when x equals 7 over 3. To find the y-intercept, set x equal to 0. So take my original equation, I take 3 times 0 plus y equals 7. Of course, that cancels out. We get y equals 7, and there's your y-intercept. So these are fairly straightforward. One more for good measure x equals 5y plus 12. Again, we want to find the x-intercept to start off with. Remember, to find the x-intercept, you set the y equal to 0. We get x equals 5 times 0 plus 12, or x equals 12. There's the y-intercept. Oh, sorry, the x-intercept, x equal 12. And now to find the y-intercept, we're going to set x equal to 0. Take the original equation. Here we get 0 equals 5y plus 12, 
Now we move the 5y across, we get minus 5y equals 12, divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of the y, that cancels out, and now we have y equals negative 12 over 5, and there's the y-intercept. So you can see that these are fairly simple problems if you just follow this technique right here. Okay, hope you have fun with these. Go try some on your homework.